whether you are synthesizing a chemical or analyzing how much of a chemical is in your analyte, you will need to know how much you've got. If it's a solid, you'll be using a balance. This video is to tell you how to use a balance. There are two different kinds of balance in the laboratory. This is a top loader and it can read to two decimal places of grams. This in the glass case is an analytical balance. It's much more accurate. It can read to four decimal places of grams. We'll start off with the top loader and move on. Now what you will need when you are weighing is chemical, your notebook and a pen, a spatula, and a weighing paper. You can also use a watch glass or a small beaker. I'm going to use a weighing paper here. They, these are actually disposable. When you've got one, crease it a couple of times diagonally across and that will cause a well where the chemical that you're weighing out will actually gather. If you look at the display here, it presently reads zero, but when I put the weighing paper on, I get a number. Now I push this large button here, tear, which means set that to zero. Once we have done that, it's time to weigh out. I'm actually going to be weighing out copper sulfate right now, whatever it is. You will be, have an idea of how much to use. Um, I'm going to weigh out about 0.5 of a gram. Generally speaking, as long as you're within plus or minus 10% of the target weight, you'll be fine as long as you know exactly what it is. So in this case, anywhere between 0.45 and 0.55, excuse me, is going to be all right. So let's start. Take a small amount on my spatula and place it on the weighing paper. It's 0.31 of a gram. Let's try some more. And to get stuff off, if you tap the side of the spatula, you can knock stuff off. Ah, that's only 0.38, so let's add a bit more. Come on. Okay, that's at 0.49, which is as close as I'm going to get. Now this that I have taken out of the flask never goes back in. When you have taken something out, if you're not using it, it goes into the solid chemical waste, which it will always be right next to the balances. Then we cap the chemical and put it back in the tray that it sits in. And at this point, I've got 0 0.48 grams, and I take a note of that weight here in my notebook, 0 0.48 grams. This has to go in your notebook. You don't write it on a paper towel. You don't write it on the back of your hand. You don't say, oh, I'll remember it, because you won't. Write it in your notebook, and away you go. Incidentally, the notebook is actually quite a good tray that you can carry stuff to and from your workstation. Let's move on and try doing the same kind of way using the analytical balance. Moving on to the analytical balance, it's in the glass case for a reason. There are wind currents just from the air conditioning here, and if I open this and blow on it, I will actually see a different mass. So I do need to keep the glass covers closed when I'm actually taking a weight. I'm going to try again for 0.5 of a gram. I've got a folded piece of weighing paper here, and again, put it on the pan and press tear. And I've now got zeros and I've got a stable weight. So taking my copper sulfate, if you just go in from both sides that sometimes helps. And tap the solid off the spatula until I'm reasonably close to what I want. 0 0.43, 0 0.49, there we go. And again, it doesn't go back into the bottle, but rather into the solid waste container. Now I close this and wait until this zero circle here goes away. When the circle is present, it's an unstable reading. When the circle goes away, it's ready to read, and that's 0.4967 grams. And again, 
write that down, 0 0.4967 grams. Now, so much for that. If you spill, and you almost certainly will, oops, what are you going to do? Well, this goes into the solid chemical waste, and you'll notice that the chemical came in a solid tray. Pick the container out. There is a brush, and just brush all of the chemical that got spilled into the tray so that this is now no longer left up here. And you can then tap that into the solid chemical waste. And the chemical goes back into the black tray. Do not, let me repeat this, do not leave solid all over the bench top. Your TA will not be very pleased with you, and neither will I, if you leave the balance area dirty. But once you have done that, you have now mastered the art of weighing using both a top loader and an analytical balance.